right brick cleaning today so let me show you what I'm actually doing there's the wall now the customer is completely aware that this wall is in terrible condition um, it's been painted using I really have no idea it's got two layers the top layer uh, is a more normal sort of exterior paint but there's some paint underneath it's like a rubbery sort of horrible sealer type paint um, I don't know how long it's been on there but as you can see uh, it's not allowing the wall to breathe and it's destroying the bricks underneath so yeah um, my job today is to take that off now normally I would attack this using uh, steam and a, a DCM based paint stripper a dichloromethane based paint stripper which you need a license for to use in the UK which I do have um, but I tried that on a wall over there I'll walk over and show you in a minute um, before Christmas uh, put the paint stripper on put the steam on it was literally doing about I don't know I was doing about a square meter every couple of hours it was just ridiculous it just was not working properly I was getting through masses of fuel um, masses of paint stripper it just it, I it just wasn't able to do it using that method because it was just it was gonna take me probably three or four days just to do that wall over there using that method so here I am back to do the rest which is this wall here and let me show you the wall so look I finished this wall yesterday using the RV Um, I mean, there's, uh, it's not in great condition. The customer is aware of that. They were aware of that when they took me on. Uh, they knew that it needed some repairs. It needs re I mean, that one's not too bad there, but the, that wall there, so there, from there to about here, that whole section there, that needs repointing and some repairs doing as well. So some of the bricks taking out, replacing, um, because they are just spalling. Look at the spalling on some of these bricks. Cracks. Um, you can see people have tried to repair it in the past. They've tried to cover it with cement. Yeah, I mean, this is this is the thing. People put these sort of sealer type paints on and they can't, and they don't breathe. Um, and then it just causes the brickwork to spall. Worst thing you could do, really. So yeah, look, there you go, that's spalled massively there, there's so many small they, they're gonna need replacing I imagine um, so yeah this is today's job and um, it is I mean don't get me wrong it's quicker more effective than using the steam and the chloromethane but it's still slow going I reckon I'm gonna get from maybe here to here today there's no way I'll get it all done. It's just so slow. Um, I don't know what the, the coating is underneath. So like I said, the white is a more normal um, exterior paint, but the, there's like a creamy, rubbery, sort of horrible paint underneath. It just does not want to come off. I mean, you can see it's peeling away in places, but on some of the brickwork, it's just stuck on fast and it's, it just doesn't want to come off. Let's get set up and you can watch me watch me do a difficult brick clean.
good morning. Right, this is the last day for me on this job. Thank the Lord. Um, this job has just been an absolute nightmare, but uh, look, we carry on as best we can. I actually quoted one day for this job. This will be my fourth day. <laughs> so I'm massively out of pocket, but look, I gave them a price. I have to stick to it and that's just the way it is sometimes you take a hit because you mess up so um yeah that's just one of those times um i'd rather do the job for the price i said than have unhappy customers and possibly and that could possibly affect my reputation so i'm just going to take the hit look i'm actually i haven't actually lost money i'm still making money but nowhere near as much as i should be so such is life anyway right so um I mean, I've actually come to the realization that actually, although this uh, Ibix and this compressor is an amazing piece of equipment, for this job, it's just not powerful enough. That's why it's so slow. Um, I'm running full power on the Ibix, as much pressure as it can take. Um, the, um, I'm going full, full seven bar, is it seven bar? Yeah, full seven bar on the, um, on the Doosan. So yeah, it's maximum pressure. It's just not, whatever that sticky horrible uh, sealer paint is it's just it's just holding on for dear life and it's just such slow going but uh look all we can do is carry on but i'll be glad when this job's over that's for sure <laughs> they're a very nice couple and i feel really bad for them because they didn't realize what was underneath the paint i quoted um by email see that this is the problem when you work for yourself and you're really really busy and you've got no staff to help you or for them to carry on with jobs while you go out and quote you get caught out like this so um yeah it's just one of those things anyway enough talk um let's get this last bit done so uh, the plan get rid of this just got to do it around there to there uh, and then i'm going to give obviously pick up all the mess I mean, it's very dusty and it's covered in um, blast media, so I'm just gonna have to rinse all this down over there as well. Just very slow. Anyway, let's do this.
Right, okay, so walls cleaned. Um, so I've just cleared up all the, all the mess. Um, as you can see, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but I am definitely losing light. It's still the middle of winter and I'm still, it's still getting dark around four o'clock. So uh, I didn't record it because I was just too, I just had too much to do, too much to get on with anyway. So the majority of it has been picked up. It's all in the back of the van. So it looks, still looks filthy, but I'm just going to rinse it down. The pressure washer is just filling up. I should have done that earlier, but I was busy doing other stuff. So um, the wall, it looks, doesn't look great now, but it's covered in blast media. So because I wet blasted it. So it's all stuck to the, it's all stuck and ingrained into the brick. So just got to rinse that down. And that'll come up lovely. Rinse it all. I'm going to rinse it all down to there because it all leans down to the, to the grate. I'm going to stop it before it gets to the grate and then pick it all up. Okay. So, as you can see here, you've got, you've still got um, white in between the joints. Um, this stuff is literally, in places, inches thick. They've like, they've stuffed it in, obviously it looked like this before they put the paint on. So they stuffed that rubbery, horrible sealer paint inside to, to the joints. Um, so I do know they're getting this uh, repointed, so that will get ground, ground out, grounded out, grounded, grounded, ground, ground out when that's done. And it should look like the neighbors over there. Anyway, let's do it.
about 10 minutes before we get started. I'm going to take my final shot now. Boom. Okay. So there's some repair work to be done on this wall. Some bricks need to place in, repointing in places. Uh, this wall here, quite a few repairs. Um, all need grinding out and re um, repointing. Uh, the next door neighbour had theirs done as well. Um, I spoke to a neighbour over this side and he said the guy who did this was here for about a week, week and a half. And uh, that's half the size of the one I've just done. Uh, he's repointed it, he's repointed it nicely. Um, probably used the wrong mortar. It should really be... Um, it should really be uh, lime mortar. But that's sand and cement. But look, at the end of the day, it's not um, it's not part of the house. How bad that is, I do not know. But look, because obviously there's paint on this one. He obviously struggled as well. Um, yeah. I'm not gonna. I'm not going to stand here and say it's perfect because there are still tiny little spots of paint um, but it's just so difficult to get off this stuff so difficult I've never ever come across anything like it before so this job was an actual, that was an actual nightmare but uh, it's done now and I can invoice and get paid so yeah anyway time to pack up and on to the next one. See you on the next one guys. Thanks for watching.